Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to enable or disable the Steam input and then restart the game. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select properties and then go to the controller tab over here and select. First of all, you can try to disable the Steam input, launch the game and then you can check the controller. If that does not work, you can go to the controller tab once again and then you can try to enable the Steam input and then check check which one is working fine for you still not working the next step is to playstation controller user you can use ds4 windows so if you have this software you can launch ds4 windows or you can install this ds4 windows on your computer and then you can use ds4 windows you can configure your controller and then check playstation controller user enable controller in sound control panel now for this you can Type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to control panel, go to hardware and sound and then go to sound option. Now connect your controller using the cable, use the wired connection. So wired connection. So connect your controller using the cable. Let me connect it. Now once you connect the controller here you can see speak under speaker here you can see dual sense wireless controller make a right click and then click on enable so if this is disabled you can make a right click and then click on enable now once it is enabled make a right click once again and then click on configure speakers and then select quadraphonic click on next put a check on front left and right also put a check on surround speaker and then click on next click on finish and then relaunch the game and then you can check the next step is to update controller using playstation or xbox accessories app now if you have xbox controller then open microsoft store on your computer and then at the very tops in the search box you can type in xbox accessories app and then click on xbox accessories app install it if not installed once you install it open xbox accessories app and then you have to connect your controller using the usb cable again make sure that you use the usb cable to connect your controller now let let me connect my controller once you connect your controller it will recognize your controller and then you will see the three dots option click on this three dot if there is any update you will see update option and then you can update your controller and once the update is complete now you can launch the game and then check similarly if you have playstation controller you can use playstation accessories app you can search for playstation accessories app in google and then you can go to official playstation website and then you can install this download for windows you can download this playstation exe file and then you can run this exe file and install it on your computer in my case i think it is already installed so once installed you can launch playstation accessories app and then connect your controller now once the it will direct your controller once you see the controller if there is any update you will see update option over here in my case the controller is already up to date and once it is updated now you can launch the game and then check now still not working the next step is to launch steam in big picture mode now for this go to steam at the top right here you can see the big picture mode icon so click on enter big picture mode icon Now once the steam is in big picture mode, now you can launch the game and then check. Now still not working. Next step is to disconnect all the USB adapter, extra adapter, USB adapter, any kind of devices. Disconnect all the external devices which you are not using. You can even unplug the keyboard, launch the game and then you can check if you can. Disconnect extra controller connected to the computer. So if you have any 
sometimes we have extra dongle connected to the computer disconnected disconnect arcade stick disconnect multiple monitor if you have any virtual controller like if you have vjoy running vjoy like any kind of virtual controller you can disconnect you can disable it or you can uninstall it and then relaunch the game now if nothing is working you can use the wired connection so connect your controller using the usb cable to the computer and then you can launch the game and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel